Good morning. My name is Shiwai Lara and I welcome you to quiet about the last edition of Sunday Morning Dose in year 2021. This is surely the last edition for the year. And um, first, let me say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, wish that um, you had fun celebrating Christmas and beyond fun you were able to familiarize yourself with some of the reasons behind Christmas and then looking forward to a brand new year in a couple of days it will be the end of 2021 for several and for most businesses it's already uh, 2021 has already come to an end because several businesses have already closed their transactions and books for the year. So you are just like me, anticipating 2022 already. Yeah, and then what better way to start 2022 than to bring this discussion to us that going forward, moving forward into 2022, if we must experience something better as a people, as a nation, and then as a society, we must begin to invest into truth. Yes, we must begin to invest into truth. You know, it's good that we invest into what we call information that we get informed, but we must begin to take the priority of truth as our major priority if we must transcend from the third world country that we are in right now the position of third world country that we are in into the position of first world country where we would love to be as a nation as people and as a society then we must begin to think about truth solomon said in the book of proverbs 13 that um, uh, the one that works with the wise shall be wise, and then the companion of fools shall be destroyed. Jesus re echoing the same thing in the New Testament, but just using different analogy, said about uh, he that follows, he that has been led by the blind will surely end up in the ditch. You know, that the end of non truth a society with non-truth, a society with non-fact will end up destroyed eventually. And if you if you if you are looking for proof in this society that we are in, there's a lot, a lot of proofs that we've been led by uh, leadership with no sight, with no vision, with no foresight. And if we must change the course of that event. If we must rewrite the story, if we must come into a new light and new turn, just like Jesus would put it, that no one puts the old wine in a in a new wine rather in a old wine skin. So if we must change the course of our event as a race, as people, as a nation, then we must begin to invest in truth. In truth, unfortunately, religion has not done us uh, has done us a disservice in spreading truth. You know, one of the major things that religion was supposed to do is to bring truth to limelight and make it obvious. But unfortunately, because of the fact that we've been led also in the same fold by blind people, we've all been recycling falsehood we will all be recycling negatives and instead of truths so what would i encourage you to get involved in get involved in investing your time in finding out truth uh, if you want to read if you want me to recommend i would recommend the bible i would recommend the bible i would recommend just like what we do here i would recommend the perspective of christ in the bible for truth finding. I would recommend science books. I would recommend research books. I would recommend documentaries. I would recommend that you you study nature. Truth, because truths are embedded 
in all these things i would recommend that you you invest your time in listening to intellectual comedies jokes that very factual uh, sayings that they have to say analogy and the interesting way that they put it i would recommend that you seek after truth not religion not necessarily truth truth is not necessarily in the religion right now and it's obvious amongst amongst us we could see it is obvious in our society that the religious as are no longer the custodian of truth and truth must be searched outside the boundary outside the four corners of religious activities and if that must be done then we must invest in books we must invest in knowledge we must invest in things that have done research and got that information for a span of years and we must invest in those what would truth do for us john the book of john chapter 8 let's read it from verse 30 john chapter 8 verse 30 sorry about the light the light went off john chapter 8 verse 30 well i'm thinking of bringing back the light yes it's back on now let me just make sure that that does not reoccur again so john chapter 8 verse 30 Let's take it from verse 30. Why Jesus was saying these things? Many people believed him. Believed in him. Why Jesus was saying these things? Many people believed in him. Verse 31. So Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him, If you continue to obey my teachings, you are truly my followers then verse 32 you will know the truth and the truth will make you free uh, one of the effects of truth finding is that it sets free it sets free it breaks bondages it eliminates eliminate darkness and illuminates our society brings light brings effective system of governance brings effective managerial skill of resources and of um, capacities this is what truth would help us to do truth will bring us out of bondage and set us free will bring us out of our limitations out of the cage that we are in and make us free and in 2021 if something if there's something we must achieve as a nation is to be set free is to be set free praying is good but while we pray we must also know that what sets free is not prayers it's truth findings it's truth findings so in whatever sector that we want to be free indeed in we must invest in the truth of that sector. Let's say, for instance, we want to be free in the sector of governance. We've been led by bad leaderships. And then what we must do then is that we must begin to invest in truth about politics, about governance, about uh, about government in general we must begin to invest in such truth if it is religious settings for instance we must begin to invest in the truth in that not the sentiment that we have towards a person or a group or a church we must begin to invest in the truth in that we must begin to invest in that truth if we must be able to say to ourselves that indeed in 2021 we have been set free so going forward moving into 2022 being set free 
will not be a matter of coincidence, will not be the matter of uh, accident, accidental actions, will be a matter of deliberate action in our investment in truth, in our investment in truth. So I leave you with this in 2021. You want to change the course of events in 2022? You want to set yourself free? You want to set your, set your society free from the bondage of darkness, bondage of bad leadership, bondage of um, self-centered leadership, bondage of uh, lack of foresight leadership, then invest in truth. And not just invest in truth, if you're a family person, if you're a parent, also help your children to start early in investing in truth in investing in truth and truth like i said is everywhere we just have to pay attention and change our focus to making it a priority and finding out the truth i hope this is helpful i hope this is timely i hope it's not late to reschedule your plans for 2022 and begin to reconstruct your 2022 in such a way that truth becomes your priority and then we can all say to ourselves at the end of 2022 a time like this in 2022 that indeed our nation is set free from darkness into light so till we see in 2022 till we see next year my name again remains Shinwai Lara this is Sunday Morning Dose keep living in the perspective of Christ, of God's world. See you in 2022. Thank you.